Hello. We're going to start our videos by looking at uh, limits in an intuitive sort of way, uh, graphically. And I've reproduced the graph, sort of, that you have in the written out problems that you have available to you. I encourage you to look at those problems. There's a reason why they've done out. They've shown how you're supposed to write things. And there's a lot of different examples you can look at. But I've kind of reproduced this, and we want to look at these particular problems. These are, this is a piece of that particular problem, but uh, we'll look at these limits. So the first one, limit as x approaches negative 3 from the left. That means I'm approaching, my x value is approaching negative 3, but I'm only going to consider values of x that are less than negative 3. So my function then is approaching this way, and it is approaching that where that hole exists, that y value is 3. The limit as x approaches negative 3 from the right. Now I'm approaching with values bigger than negative 3, but still my y value is approaching the same number. It's still approaching 3. Since these match, the two, these are called one-sided limits, the two one-sided limits are the same, the limit as x approaches negative 3 is 3. Notice, however, f of negative 3 does not exist. There is no functional value associated when x equals negative 3. It's not defined. It's not in the domain. The limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Now I'm approaching here, and my y value is approaching negative 1. The limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Notice now I am up here, so my y value is approaching 4. And since these, let me write right up here, since these were the same, the limit was 3. Since these are not the same, the limit does not exist. They're two different one sided limits. I will leave the rest of the problem for you to look at and to do.